I'm exclusive icon for all MK Ultra survivors and those that are currently still in the MK Ultra programs as well as the MK Ultra targeted individual MK Ultra program where you are put into a remote prison where you are remotely tortured, gang stock surveillance both physically and remotely. Before you was the U.S. government and shadow intelligence agencies and military and black and dark hat military agencies, guinea pig and live kill. You were a living, loving human being who had a life, who might have had jobs, who might have had a family, uh, might have had spouse, children. A loving community, a community, family, bloodline, you know, relatives, family members who loved you, who cared about you, who you spent time with uh, in your community, in your job, in your place of employment. Before these intelligence agencies decided to turn us into cattle or live mule or live kill, to use this as live kill, live cattle, to mutilate and abuse both remotely through advanced technologies and so forth. We were living, loving human beings with lives. And it's time for us as survivors and existing, uh, existing people in the MK and the current, who are still currently actively in the MK Ultra programs to bring our voices and faces online and also talk about our lives before we were in the MK Ultra program, our programs, plural, so that the general public can see the side of us that was living, loving, creative, adventurous, creative, intelligent, and spiritual living beings, human beings of love, kindness, a soul, and a living light, and a genuine living, and an actual life. We had lives before the MK Ultra programs. Whether you were in it as a child, kidnapped and abducted, forced into it as a child, forced into it as an adult, on all levels, or forced into it, do into the form of satanic ritual abuse, and our our survival of that. But one thing's for sure is all of those of us who have been put in forcefully into the MK Ultra programs, we need to express our voices, uh, reflect on our lives and the lives we did have and we lived fruitfully or fully or even to the best of our ability. At least some of the things we liked and endure prior to being forced into the MK Ultra program or programs. We were living human beings at one time who had lives, who had jobs, who had careers, who had families, children, spouses, who had communities and coworkers who loved and spent time, work with us and enjoyed us and camaraderie with us. We were just like anybody else, thriving and living or exist, living as well as we could in our daily lives before forcefully put into these MK Ultra programs. And I myself am in the MK Ultra targeted individual program of remote a remote prison of remote torture, surveillance, torment, all done through advanced weaponry by remote, by remote of advanced technologies and satellite and Wi-Fi and so forth, um, computer mind inf interface of the supercomputer. But one thing's for sure is for all of us that are of these MK Ultra programs or have been, 
we need to reflect on them and share with the public our lives before the our lives and the lives we lived before the MK Ultra programs, so that people in the general public can see us as the loving, living, hardworking, intelligent, and compassionate living beings that we are and were before the MK Ultra programs forced us into their programs and pretty much stole, robbed, imprisoned, and abused our lives away forcefully without our consent and against our will.